good everybody it's your boy jason Pikes 4 and finally the ps5 has descended from the heavens and we are able to see it in all its glory after all the specs and all the dumbass ideas of what it could look like this is it this is the future of gaming welcome to playstation 5 even though we look like a whole router in a white binder and two white girls between a black guy they are all about to get some bbc so obviously this is the ps5 and this is what we are working with now this is literally the future of gaming and to be honest i like it i actually like the design it's really cool i feel like it's like um it's, it looks really futuristic is probably gonna be the only futuristic thing that's gonna be my house and i'm ready for it i'm ready for it probably i feel like the price of this thing probably gonna be like six hundred dollars and then the digital version might be like 500 so it's I, i'm i'm very intrigued to see i want to know when this thing is gonna drop and the exact price of how much it's gonna be because I already tell you straight up, I'm not getting it day one. You got to be insane to think I'm going to get it in day one. If let's say limit, they only have it in limited supply, so only a few people are going to get like a PS5 off rip. So it's not going to make a big difference if you try to get it one day one or not, because there's going to be a probably high chance that you're not going to get one because everybody else probably going to be there ready ahead of time just to get their um, console. So. The fact that you might try to get yours at launch is gonna be a little is a little dicey, but give it time, and then you probably you, you gonna get yours. Myself, on the other hand, I'm waiting till that price goes down because I'm not spending that much money on it. I don't care how much it costs until it goes like four hundred to maybe three hundred dollars. That is when I buy my PS5. I'm not buying it any sooner than that because that's a lot. Unless PlayStation or if somebody wants to send me a PS5. That would be great, but I'm not paying $600, $700, $1,000 for a freaking console that I don't need. My PlayStation 5 is just as fine. I mean, sure, it sounds like a jet engine. See, y'all hear this? It sounds like a whole jet engine. PlayStation 5 better not have that. And holy crap i hope the ps5 does not sound like a jet engine but i i rather have a whole jet engine in my room versus having an expensive expensive futuristic hardware that's in my room that i cannot afford we also gotta talk about the games that are coming out because we i gotta be i'm excited for these games you know spider-man obviously miles get his own gameplay now we all see it looks futuristic it looks great it look really does look next gen and we got Resident Evil 8. And I was I was wondering like is our or is Resident Evil gonna make a showing? Because I feel like it could. And we got that. Then we got also Horizon. I never beat Horizon, but I played it and it, it seemed fun. It was really fun. It just wasn't I just never finished it because I kinda got bored because of all the side was but it, Horizon 2 looks fun though, I'm not gonna lie. And then Ratchet and Clank, and Ratchet and Clank is the most surprising thing for me mainly because of, the, of how they just showed off all of what the ps5 can do and like the whole instant loading thing and transitioning from different platforms especially in-game transition to platforms that was insane because i didn't think they could transition that fast how just how good is this tech like what's the real speed of this tech like how how much loading is there in this game like is there really no loading for real this time or it is is or is it gonna be like minimal loading like what what is happening so that's kind of the only thing i'm really just like wondering about right now when it comes to this but also and with ratchet and clank we also have this new character this female lombax and it i sad as i am to say this some way it, it only took the internet 48 minutes to draw some insight on this girl <laughs> bro I love and hate the internet at the same time. How do you just take? Did, did people just have digital tablets on set? And they also and it's also color too. And I know that takes some time. Why? Because I actually I have a digital tablet. Finally, and I actually had like uh, I think a week, it's like a couple weeks ago, and it's actually pretty good. Actually, I'm a, I'm starting to do a lot more 
on the digital tablet and it's a slow process but it's kind of it's kind of fun though and i was looking at this and i was just but i was looking at theirs and i was just like how do you get this so fast what what engine i want to know what kind of engine you're on to be doing this no like i legit want to know what the hell kind of engine are you on to be drawing things this fast it makes no dang sense but to, to wrap this all up I'm really vibing with this PS5. I really want to see what other games that's going to be coming out. But yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to talk about in this video. So what you think about the new console. Do you want to smash your own console? Do you want to smash the female Lombacks? Let me know in the comments. Until then, this has been your boy Jay. Signing off. Have a blessed day.